good one. Yeah. Uh, it's the reuse committee on October 9th, 2014. Our agenda is posted. Uh, our first agenda item is to approve the minutes from last month. And there were some in the middle of the yeah. table. Do we yeah, sure, need yeah. more? Yeah, I read the I read the I read the I the I can't really weigh in. Any changes? So, no changes. I'm just, is it? relevant, I guess, to this. Um, Mac, you wrote a nice letter to the editor, but did you get information from Paul Spector? You no. You were that? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. About, um, the, about this uh, the plastic bag. bag yeah, yeah. No, I mean, he had sent me, because I wrote a letter to the editor based on uh, information that he had gotten. Oh, right. But, so you so I can forward that to you if you want that. Yeah, he he was going to, this is about quantities of bags that are used in Northampton and uh, that. He, well, yeah, yeah, it was, um, I mean, I don't remember if I picked that up at our meeting with him or through his letter, but his, his letter was more about the, uh, the roots of the ordinance that he's mm -hmm. okay. putting together yeah. with, uh, with Jesse Adams. Jesse, yeah. yeah, if you want to forward it, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, actually, if you would forward it to everybody, if you think that he would be comfortable with that, that'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like when he was at the meeting, he mm -hmm. was going to send information back to the group, and we, you were the only one who got it, I guess. Uh, well, I specifically emailed him. I see. Right okay. There. Great. So, can we approve the minutes? Mm -hmm. Vote to approve the I mean, uh, motion. Motion to approve the minutes? Excellent. Second. Any opposed? Okay. So I think that's approved. Uh, Recenter update. <coughs> Sure. Um, we have been making good progress on the recenter uh, since the last uh, meeting. Warren Jones, the city carpenter, came out and did a great job framing the front wall for us, uh, and then sheathed it afterwards. And that's now painted. And we yesterday we popped in Peter's large window into the front. Uh, oh, boy, cool. And Jones, Joan Wiener's sign is hanging. It's welcoming people to the recenter. Um, on the other side of the front wall, we're, we have done extensive repairs on the, over, the panels of the overhead garage door, spearheaded by Alan Calhoun, who's been a great asset. And uh, that, that part of the repair is finished, and now we're bringing going to call in the uh, uh, the overhead door guy to Jerry Devine to reassemble the door and hang the hang it and adjust the springs and so forth so that's that part is moving along um, we were hung up on framing the office and we have managed to without external help we have managed to move <laughs> forward on that with Bob's supervision and uh, Diana's leadership and uh, so the the front the office is um, is the the side walls of it are framed in. We're next going to work on the ceiling and the sheathing that goes around it. So very good progress has been made on that. Um, we were having drainage problems earlier in the summer, and we tried several strategies to to uh, prevent water from getting in, and they seem to be working. So nothing, not a drop. There's wa well, there was wa actually water in there yesterday, but it appeared to have come in from the front. Uh, Where the it, garage door is missing. Yeah, where the garage uh, door is missing. Good, good, good. Yeah, it was a south, it was a south storm. Um, and uh, the next phases that we are looking at are the wiring, getting the wiring done, uh, and and then as I said, sheathing, sheathing the outside of the office and all the perimeter walls, um, painting that plywood that we put up there and mounting shelves and then uh, a sort of a final cleanup and organization to make everything the way we want it before the public comes in. Am I forgetting anything significant? I need to, uh, you're forgetting that between Mac, Diana, Peter, Bob, Reckman, and our volunteers, they've been kicking ass. 
I need to say this. I want to thank you guys so much. I mean, it's just been the the train has not stopped, <laughs> and um, I called it a barn raising and Max said well it's a slow motion barn raising <laughs> so this has happened all with you know on t on Wednesday and Saturday mornings essentially and it's it's just it keeps moving and it's a, a really beautiful thing it's just been so inspirational and I really thank especially you three because you've been driving it and making it happen so I want to give credit where credit is due They've been doing a really good job. And, well, and it's good. It's good to have it in the paper. Yeah. That and Elsa was probably an angel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. There've been a lot of good volunteers. Yeah. Other yeah. people have just emerged. You know, they've either just walked on from <laughs> in the midst of doing other things out mm -hmm. there, or heard about us through the Gazette article, or one thing or another, and said, "I'm here. What can I do to help?" And that makes me feel. Just in that I forgot to say Alex mentioned a Chris Thompson, I don't know if it's Thompson or Thompson. He didn't know either lives in Leeds and he was involved with the Nonatuck Center. The Ruggles Center rather yeah, on Nonatuck. I tried to get him. Do huh. you know him? I don't know him, but I have gotten his email from Sue and I tried to contact him and he hasn't been available. What? Carpentry. Just, just as a volunteer. Carpentry. Potential. Oh okay, yeah. 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 But I'm trying to do. renovation reclamation. Mm -hmm. No, maybe those are just rewards. <laughs> well, that also reminds me that that Alex showed up yesterday, and Al Alex Gieselin took Peter's door and he built a frame for it and he hung it yesterday. And oh, wow. this the front door? Yeah. yeah the fr so the, the front, front door. door. Mm -hmm. So we know the door oh and a window God, and the that's walls. That's so cool. Yeah, I got to do some Facebook. Posting, I guess. Got some yeah. Totally, totally in on hinges, swinging in and out. Okay. Oh, that okay. is a beautiful thing. There's a little block of wood to close it. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Well, it, yeah. it, Bravo. It, it's still needs painting. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the plate, but yeah. it's actually yeah. easier to do the plate on it. Right? There's a kick plate, so it's up. And the other piece, as I mentioned in my little report yesterday, on, on to the subcommittee is that. The, the work environment has been really, really nice. I mean, the, the people that have been working out there have just been like this great little group, um, you know, creative and uh, collaborative and just really fun to work with. So it's, it's one of the nice community side aspects of doing a project like this. It's really been a good process, I think. That's great. Now, we talked yesterday, uh, Tuesday, at the subcommittee meeting about having some kind of a celebratory thing this fall for all the people who've worked uh, inviting Jonesy and, and all the volunteers and I think the consensus was that it would be better to ha best to have it on a Saturday afternoon after a work session and and I so I would like to I'm going to take the reins of organizing a potluck or something um, what will we have fifty dollars from River Valley Market from our work with the Strawberry Social, so we can buy some things with that and then um, invite the committee members and other people to bring some goodies and um, see what we can do to have a little celebration. Yeah. So we need to pick a day. We talked about, I think, um, late October being the er possible earliest. It would be nice, I think, to have the garage door, you know, I mean, it, it, where, where it's pretty much mostly ready to go. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be painted and everything, but mm -hmm. it would nice be nice to kind of um, have it mostly ready to go. So it might, it could be in November, you know, maybe early November is the way to go. Um, but but uh, you're on, you've been given notice, and anybody who's interested in helping to, to make it a fun event, let me know. So how are we going to decide on the date then? You're going to do one well, of those. Well, it's going to be on a Saturday. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it so be. it can't be on the 15th. Oh, we're it can't be about on. Yeah. Oh, it, oh right. It, yeah, so be. it has to. It would have to be on the 25th. Yeah. I think I, how we're going to decide is we're going to see how the progress oh, okay. goes over the next week or two. Um, it could. It could be the 25th. It, it could mm -hmm. be the first, it could be the eighth. Yeah. Um, the twenty second is already getting into Thanksgiving, isn't it? No. It could be yeah. so I would say twenty fifth, first, eighth, or twenty second. 
-hmm. would be the potential dates. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> do you see this as an insider party, or do we use this like with the Gazette? You know, to say we're having a party for volunteers, and we're still looking for volunteers, yeah. by the way, so oh, well, <coughs> as a publicity thing. This isn't just my party, it's your party, so you tell me your ideas. Yeah. I was thinking that That's it would I'm be curious. for the committee and the volunteers who've been working on it. We could certainly send a press release and let them know. I think it's important, you know, to have them. They've been following us now for two articles, and I think, it, you know, it's, it's kind of a nice follow-on story. Mm -hmm. um, so we could certainly do a press release, but anything more than that, you know, you guys pitch in, you know, let me know what you think mm -hmm. would be fun to have happen. Would, would we already potentially accept some items, like some priority items, like tools, you know? I don't, I think that's more than, I think maybe putting another volunteer push would be more in the realm mm -hmm. of what we were yeah. It would be nice to have a grand opening. Open to Absolutely. Uh, we'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll, oh. yeah. In the spring, we'll, yeah. we can do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we'll, we, we wouldn't turn away tools. Make sure the reporter knows that. Right. 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 Well, we can yeah. talk more about that yeah. in the yeah. Tuesday yeah. meeting, too. Yeah. yeah, we might want to move along to see you guys have anything else to add. I think the only other, you know, this is the kind that we're, we're not at the end, but we're over the hump with the construction, and then what will happen, I think, more over the winter is us, uh, you know, working on things like our manual for volunteers and our final list of what we accept and what we don't. and Getting training ready for volunteers. Training and, you know, other, they're not physical infrastructure, mm -hmm. they're more <coughs> organizational infrastructure mm -hmm. kinds of mm -hmm. uh, Decisions. Now, the, uh, just one last thing. One of the one of the issues that we really need to resolve is who's going to have access to this. And so we are going to have the subcommittee, and anyone else who's interested is going to have a meeting about that immediately after this meeting. We only have this room until ten, so we might have to adjourn and not adjourn, but we might have to move on to the parking lot to a parking lot or something <laughs> like that. Um, right. We'll see how long we can we can stay in this room. But any, I just wanted to invite the rest of the committee members. If you're, um, you know, if you have ideas or passion around that, join us. Let's move on to fall events. The next one is this weekend. Mm -hmm. Peter. Mm -hmm. So um, you had said yesterday you would get an ad <coughs> in. Is that uh, the the ad has gone. Yeah. Well, the ad has gone into the classifieds for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I was very busy in Amherst yesterday, mm -hmm. and turns out that the deadline for Friday's ad paper was yesterday morning. So I missed that opportunity. I didn't realize it was so early. So which day is it going to be in? Thursday, Friday? Yeah, Friday? no, the classified will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I put up signs. I made a special trip yesterday you morning. Can like Dandy Nicola or the actual classified? Dandy Thursday? Nicola has received it as a, as a press release. Right, right, right. So, so <coughs> I, I can send, I certainly will send a reminder to, to various press people about it. Mm -hmm. um, I apologize I didn't get the ad, the actual ad in. I did put up signs in front of mm. uh, Smith Folk and the sign, you guys saw, you yeah. guys saw mm -hmm. the sign. Yeah. Good yeah. I put it up on Craigslist. So was I going to buy as a picture? I think I put it up on Tuesday, so. Uh, today's the, yeah, today's a good day. Yeah. I will also, yeah, so so if you, you put it up for sellers and buyers, I'm sorry, did you say? You yeah, I had both, I had both okay. the information in it. And, and can we put it up again uh, for the actual event? Yeah. Would yeah. you be willing to do to that? To refresh yeah. it, you mean? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Sure. I will. You can do it every two days, I think, or something. I mean, these were, yeah, two or three or something. Now. I'll check with Ned and the, um, the folks on Prospect to see if we can put some more signs up in front of the water building, because that would be good mm -hmm. to have some people there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, I think we have 39, 39 people, so. Wow. And, and counting. And counting. Mm -hmm. Is that a lot for us? It's not that a lot. We had capacity for 58 without 
then you're thinking about the perimeter and as well. Previously right, but previously we didn't have 38. So this Pre is... No, no, no. So previously, I mean, I think at one point we had, for the rate, it was full, last year we had... It was full had, with the rate no, 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 you're talking about... Karen, Karen. Yeah, yes. you're talking about Karen. When we had yes. the postcard and everyone in this yes. whole city knew, oh, we were at capacity. Oh, okay. Since then, we have Sounds not like been at capacity. And no, this but last we could time, be at capacity <laughs> if we really try and get this regular. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes at this last time, we, uh, uh, in the spring, I think we only had, what, 20-something? I don't think we were anywhere this spring, this that spring? Yeah, this spring, and then we only a few the of them raindrops. showed. I know. I know, oh, but I mean, it's just signed up. Yeah, yeah, we had a small number, yeah. fairly small number sign up, and then fewer showed up. So it's a, it's a very healthy number, Peter. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It does not meet your requirement. Mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a, a, I think, <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> I think almost, you know, 40, 40 plus people is a really healthy number. Yeah, three mm -hmm. tag sellers in one place. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. Very right. and mm -hmm. just Absolutely, and that's part of the classified ad. I said 40 plus vendors. So. Right. And now that David's here, you thought it was enough that you and Deb, Lisa, <coughs> and Roger, and me doing it. Deb, Deb is not available. Not available. No. So not I, available. I can do it, Peter. You? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you I meant your list, you know, but if you can personally. Right. No, 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 I, 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 yeah. I don't plan to volunteer, so. Oh, I, I don't think we're, I well, mean, yeah, in the past, the we've done Especially it. when yeah. you can direct, and you know how It to starts do. at 9, so I'll get there around 8.30, and I can handle traffic or whatever I'm going to handle. Yep. Yeah. Right. I think, I think with four people, that should be fine. Right, help there's people a, set up. Yeah, yeah. no, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking that additional cars that are early birds. Play the bouncer. No, no, yeah. get the bouncer, <laughs> just put them, you know, uh -huh. okay. over in some <laughs> place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put them out in a field next to me. <laughs> yeah, just drive down there. Going to the stadium seating in the field. Is there anything else you need for that event? No, uh, Salvation Army uh, will be there from 11.30 to 12.30 only this time because I thought it was a waste of time for them being there from mm -hmm. 9. So it's the event is at the state of the end. Yes, and nobody virtually, even though I think you'd plug it somewhere, Salvation Army would be there. Well, before, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody brought stuff for in the car mm -hmm. for the cell, although oh. they were placed very, you know. And you've been in touch with Salvation Army? Yes. Okay, so they're all set. Yeah. Another good base of maintaining activity. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we move on to the art costume? I just have one yeah. last comment, and that is that the PGO of the other school, we have two schools that do electronics PGO. collections. PTO. Parent, parent Guardian Organization. Oh, okay. um, uh, they do two electronics collections. One is oh, when we do the hazardous household waste, and that's at Smith, Vogue. The other is usually at JFK in the fall, and that event is going to be on the 11th on the same day. So if you, if anyone asks, uh -huh. you know, is it at the Smith Vogue? If people drive up, there's an electronics collection yes. this electronics Saturday. Yeah. This yeah. Saturday, this yeah. Saturday yeah. at JFK. Yeah. At JFK. Yeah. When does it end? Deb has a. Bears usually I, ends at noon. Deb has a flyer up at the front desk there about it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it might be nice if it ended at one so all the vendors yes. can bring their extra stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right, okay. oh, well. well, Salvation Army takes it. Oh, that's true. Right. You're right. So, I mean, if, if there's money, well, yeah. there's no money in screens. Because I managed to find out the other day when I brought nine screens <laughs> to a free recycling <laughs> at people's bank. Screens? Well, television okay. screens, oh, right. computer mm -hmm. screens. Okay. All right. Well, the uh, the costume art. and art yes. event. It's hard to know where to start. I had um, Debbie's been. Along. She's been, kick, been kicking along. butt too. Um, so there are probably about twenty five or twenty eight artists or other sort of related type people who are going to be there. There's going to be one fashion show, not two. It's going to be at ten thirty. There will be Amherst College students involved too. But probably only if we, but I'll go into that. They they will be there. We need someone to dress, to be a dresser. Um, 
I guess that, uh, you know, I've got a couple of artists who've been leafleting. I did leafleting in um, Northampton yesterday, so I put up, you know, in the places where people expect to see stuff. And, and Peter's been here. doing a and lot Peter's of work with art with galleries. Art galleries. The um, art night out is tomorrow night, so we'll be ready for that. Do. And also I've got uh, an artist who's doing East Hampton, which is also an arts day on Saturday, mm -hmm. so I've been pushing along my artist volunteers on publicity to get it, you know, to be sure to get things out. Um, Just so right you know, Captain now. Jacks, there were 19 artists, each of them got it last week. Yeah. Um, one, of the, one of them was already signed up for it. Yeah, and right. Then, and then um, NAC has them. NAC, yeah. Oh, yeah, NAC. Yeah, Nat's not participating this year. No, but they but have. But anyway, the, that's good. That's they good the that they have that. That's yeah. great. Thank you, that's Peter. Great. That's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks. Thanks. I would love to hear about that event too, but not right now. And and if somebody <laughs> could, um, you know, if if there are, are there are there sites, Debbie, that that you would like to make sure that they have the Valley Market, but otherwise, I did, um, I, did their, I did that yesterday. Okay, because I, mean, I had right done it, and then and they, gave were, them they used to take them down, and then they put them up. I did Whole Foods, wherever anybody can think of. I did I did Central Northampton, basically Syria State Street, you know, around there, or a little bit farther down. But there, you know, I did the Thorns and all of those. Uh, so what I really need is volunteers. And I have a list here, and I mark them in yellow what we, when we need the volunteer. We've gotten, we've gotten a, a few high school volunteers from David's shout out to the listserv, so that's great. One kid volunteered to do the costume rack the whole day on Saturday. Mm. That's great. It'd be nice. Yeah. I put down a place for someone to help him because I just, I mean, he can't do that the whole, well, you know, that's, that, you know, that, that's terrific that he's doing that. Um, what else? Joan's doing a lot of signs for the, she's doing signs for the outdoors and some of the indoor signs, the kids at the JFK Middle School and their art teachers are very involved. Um, they're going to do some inside, indoor signs. Some of the kids are going to volunteer, but that's kind of like I can't really slot them in for one thing. They're 13. So they're young. And they were also really helpful at the last event in 2012 in directing people around to go here, go here, because, you know, we were broken into different rooms. Anyway, I'm sure they'll be helpful, and their teachers are terrific. Um, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to, and anybody else who wants to can shout out to your own friends and say, come on and, you know, spend two hours volunteering at this event. It's fun, and then you can hang out and do stuff. So, you know. Uh, is, is anybody volunteering from this group for, to, for the event on the 18th? Well, I will be there. Not so you will? Far, I will be yeah. there. Oh, yeah, Mac will and I will. But we need people who, I mean, Okay, I'll tell you what we need. We need another costume person. Friday night is pretty much taken care of. Saturday, um, we need people. We need people. The recenter. There's going to be a table in the front. Can you entry. be more specific? I well, mean, I've got it all here. So. Okay. I mean, what? I mean, what are we talking? Are we talking another um, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? You know, fifteen, eighteen, twenty people. Is it really? Well, you can look and see. Many? We have no outdoor people. We need at least a couple of outdoor people. No, we don't there need Why would we need that more than one outdoor person? Well, that's what I mean, but it's at different times. I slot them into different times. Okay. So instead of saying Friday night from from 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock on, depending, it has to be mm -hmm. 5 o'clock because that's what it was announced as. Um, well, we'll look at the list and see yeah. what, what is the, I mean, at some point, we should just have a, a list of what the bare minimum is. Yeah. What, I mean, there's there's a nice, it would be nice to have X number, but we need to have Y number. And, okay. and if this anyone here like, yeah, go ahead, is I'm at sorry. all available to help out, we would appreciate your help. It's possible that we would just need your help for a short amount of time, but if you can um, make yourself known to Debbie or I, we would appreciate your help. I think yeah. Friday night is possible. Yeah. There thank you. 
there has to be someone sitting at the front entry table. That's for the recenter. Oh, we can talk about if you got in touch with. Rob I did. Kimmel. I haven't heard back from him. Oh, okay. So we were talking about um, Rob Kimmel, who's one of the artists, is donating two hours of time, as all of the artists are, um, to hopefully do a trifold. Well, most of you know about this. Uh, that describes the recenter. And so at the front entry table, as you come into the foyer, there'll be a table that's kind of a welcome recenter and recenter table. So there will be certain pieces of information out there on the other events, and um, and there will be this display by, by this artist. Hopefully. Will it not be self-explanatory? Do you need someone sitting there to say what that is? Or? I think it'd be helpful. I think it'd be really helpful. There. It's really kind of like a hello person, a person who just says, you know. And answer questions. Yes, right, 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 because otherwise <coughs> there won't be anybody there. Yeah, I don't think it'll be the end of the world if there's nobody there, because yeah. his thing will be relatively self-explanatory mm -hmm. as far as the recenter goes. Right. But we're going to have uh, handouts and stuff. It would mm -hmm. certainly be helpful. That's yeah. something that I could do in yeah. between helping this costume person and, uh -huh. and being a point well, you know, the costume out. person is right behind you there right. so that makes, so I mean that I can certainly be easy. in that area between yeah. helping Mac and yeah. doing the costumes and stuff I was just trying to reduce the stress about having numbers of volunteers like yes. that might be somewhere that you can that have a floater and not a that one seems person. like the highest priority to have somebody there because okay. that will be the person who asks questions if all right to who answers questions and so if somebody comes in and has any kind of question, there's nobody there to ask. They'll be, you know, it creates stress. Uh, well, if somebody comes in with costumes versus I stuff for the artists, you could help kind of do that. Right, except, you know, we'll have a high school kid. It, I mean, I think it would be really help. Personally, I think it would be really helpful to have somebody from the committee who knows what's what to be around there. Because otherwise, we have a high school kid who's at the costumes. Max really busy over here. The artists, and there aren't that many other, there aren't people around to ask questions to. Okay. So, this is why I think that out of all of them is. Well, why don't I, why don't I commit to doing I'll that, Debbie? Know. Okay, huh? With the, exception of, with the exception of me wanting to look around and yeah. shop for a little bit, and yeah. somebody can just spell me, uh -huh. I, I will take that role oh, and great. then I can be around okay. to help Mac okay. if need be Terrific. or the costume person. Yeah. And right, so, so right, cross right. the costume so person help off too because I can help with that. Okay, well I'll just put you in on that. And I'll put up for floater if I okay. am here. If I'm here, it might be main. I'm not sure. It might be so main if we can. Uh, well, floater. I will, I will, especially the re table. I mean, the, the re table. Definitely. Okay, so you'll okay. let me yeah. know. And I Roger, you'll up, let so. me know. Yes, How would you know? We should put yeah, the recenter sure. on hold that day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. what else? Well, Temporary move it. Wish list, <laughs> recenter. Bring something to If you think that we don't need anybody out front when people are driving in, um, no, I think that I think signage. signs and stuff mm -hmm. would be. And funny. then there's the signs, and I don't know whether Joan's putting them up or you're putting them up or what's happening mm -hmm. with that. But I've tried to put you two in touch with each other on put a, that. Put a dress dummy up with a. Yes, right. The door, yes, right. Excuse me, could you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and. I mean, this is probably wishing too big, but I would love to have someone coordinating the, vo the volunteers so that I didn't have to do that because I'm going to be busy doing everything else. The event table um, layout, I'd love if somebody likes thinking about layouts of things and likes looking at scale drawings, which I'm kind of in the process of doing, I'd love to have help. I'd love to have somebody else to talk to about that, so I'm not just talking to myself about it to make sure I didn't measure things wrong or didn't think the whole thing through. Are you using the perimeter primarily? Or no, it's the, the whole thing. The whole room is going to be uh -huh. full. So it's the perimeter for the people who need electricity, electricity of whom there aren't too many. Oh. And then there are going to be three more rows. Have you seen it without, the voting was on when we were out yeah. there? Yeah. And <coughs> you know, I was a little worried about the lighting because oh. a lot of the lighting was off. Kind of only came on every five yeah, minutes. The lighting or comes on when you move. It's motion. motion. Yeah. So we're going to have to have people who are movers. <laughs> I'll put that down as a volunteer. <laughs> right. It's like going around like this. Right. <laughs> the lights to 
you found that. So anyone who's there, remember, you know, go like Stay this right. whenever you're walking right. around as though right. you're doing something really important, which you will be. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all. I mean, you know, what I'm really concerned about now is getting the, getting people there to, to help out with these various tasks. So why don't I pass this around anyway so at least it's they you don't know what out? it is. I have a Gmail about no, no, no. But um, David's, David, I guess you can post more specifically what, if you want to do that. Yeah, I will. Well, let, I, um, think, I think we should, you know, part of the thing is when people see a long list, it's very daunting. Unless well, I can. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just going to suggest that mm -hmm. we, w that any kind of communication that goes out says we need four more volunteers. Contact okay. Susan or something like that. I mean, let's keep the message really simple. This is a right. fun event. We yeah, don't okay. want to get too, uh, give, provide too much detail because okay. it, it's uh, daunting for people. Okay. Um, All right. So, so I, I think we're, I think we're, you know, I, we can talk afterwards. Yes, but sure. I, I think we're, we're. Um, Debbie has been extremely organized, and I love all the advanced preparation that you've done. You've just really um, organized this very well. So. I, I can see how you would fun. be nervous about yes, the volunteer yeah. piece, but I think it's going to be great. It's going to yeah. be great. Oh, I, I think it will be too, but sometimes at 3 in the morning or, you know, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Yeah. She has also made I'm, really good use of volunteers as far as the artists each volunteering two hours of time. So she's lined up people to help with social media, to help with oh, yeah, design. Um, so it's, it's she's really orchestrated this beautifully. I do want to uh, say that we sent a flyer like this to Barbara Black and she's happy to get it out to the schools early next week if we can get a translation of it in Spanish. Huh. If not, then it's just going to go out to yeah. blogs and stuff like that. Do you know somebody? Yeah, I work in an office about it. Can, you, can you get that to me like today? I will give that to them and hopefully they'll be able to okay. do it today. Okay, oh, that would be great because then uh, then we can, um, oh, oh, you know what, um, this, this, this is the thing that is going to the oh, school. Yes. Oh, okay. All Not right. that one. Mm. <laughs> a lot more words. A lot of words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can, um, the costume piece is the one that, that we thought would be best to focus on for the schools because that's the, Okay. Um, as soon as I get there, I'll make copies and add oh, thank you. multiple speakers, hopefully. Thank you. That's you great, Roger. Like an each one. <laughs> and then the other thing is um, there, there are these flyers here and some of these, and Debbie has more up front. Yeah. Um, if you guys, uh, I mean, Deb has, has an additional. So if you guys, I, um, I'm sorry, did you say that there were sites that you wanted to make sure that these got to? That, that ha other than River Valley Market? I don't know them. I mean, I've done the, you know, I don't have a list of websites. Okay, so. well, let me change the question then. The pe to the people who are here, is there a site that you're aware of that you think is a really powerful site to have a, a flyer like this up at? And would you be willing to commit to putting one of these up at your powerful site? <laughs> I put them up co-housing places. Yeah, that's great. Okay, you want to take some? Sure. I printed out a couple actually. Okay, sure. great. Um, John, you go to Cup and Top. Would you be willing well, just to make sure? Yeah, but he, oh. if, he, if he, if you, if you happen to be there, oh, can sure. you make sure that it's up there? Because sometimes yeah. people take them down because they want a reminder. Oh, I want big ones and small. Well, uh, have you done Florence? I mean, There's somebody who one of uh, my artists is supposed to do Florence, so I hope that you're doing Florence. It doesn't hurt to have I'll a, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. yeah. Anyway, it's a nice uh, day today. Back in yesterday, it was a really nice walking around. Yeah, okay. I'll, okay, I'll check anyone the else know of a site that's a very powerful site and whether or not you're able to do it, if you can just tell me, I will. I will put one up today. I did Florence Savings Bank and okay. the post office. I have a okay. thought, though. In Florence? Yeah, well, I don't know if they kept oh, it up. I but stuck it up. Yeah. yeah. Matt, where do you <laughs> channel? Um, well, I've, I've sometimes done the bike path 
depend on that. Oh. And can do some well, you mean like on a, oh. on a utility poles and oh. stuff like that. Do you want that. some push pins? Okay. I, uh, push I have pins. some. It's okay. And did did, you, did anybody put any push up push at the senior center yet? Yes, I, I did. Okay. So that's I had a thought though. Do we have a list of neighborhood associations? Yes. To contact people? David usually has been. So we usually send these to them to distribute to all the people in their association? Um, you mean email. to actually give them flyers to hand out or to electronically send it out by email, yeah. Send out, yeah, electronically I send it out. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure everybody. Yep. Yep, good. And, and then, yeah, the translation got taken care of. Oh, oh and if anybody Thank thinks you. of somebody, some sort of entity who would, might like to do a, a food fundraiser or a food whatever they want to do, we still need food unless your people decided they wanted I had to, to call her. She thing. was interested, but uh, she had to speak with her daughter and, yeah. Okay, well maybe she'll yeah. say yes. I was, so if anyone has any <coughs> uh, creative suggestions, I was in touch with uh, the Northampton, a couple clubs at the Northampton High School a month or so ago, um, suggest giving them the opportunity. John, I think, followed up with some people. <coughs> Um, I sent out stuff. I mean, it seems like this is such an amazing opportunity. I mean, what's what's so ironic is that a lot of these clubs will do bake sales every week mm -hmm. at their school and make you know 50, 60 bucks. This is an opportunity yeah. to really make some money, and um, I think we gave them advance notice in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, last year I think a couple times it was very short notice and they came through. This time I gave lots of notice and they didn't come through. So I don't know. Um, if anyone has any wisdom on that, uh, or or ideas for well, giving I, people, I talked to uh, when I went over to uh, JFK yesterday and talked to the art teachers for a long time about you, you. about about what they're going to do, and then in general they have a meeting with all the art teachers in the school system today. So they were going to spread the word to their really good spokespeople for us. Mm -hmm. They're keen mm -hmm. on it. And um, she said that uh, we were talking about just having a general, li letting people know at the beginning of the season or at the end of May, we're going to have these events. If you want to have a bake sale or a whatever you want to have there, get in touch with us because we have all these slots for times. Because any of those, I think any of those events would be likely suspects. Mm -hmm. People come there, they're going to want to eat something no mm -hmm. matter what. If it's the whole, you know, if it's, thank you, if it's the whole day or even if it isn't. And also the food trucks. Mm -hmm. That if, if the community, I'd rather offer it first to the community, if the community doesn't jump up and say yes, then the community food trucks. Just to put it out there, in the future, when we have a fairly major event like this yeah. that's going to draw a lot of people, this is a f could be a fundraiser for the recenter. I mean, oh, you too, get yes. you get donated coffee and and mm -hmm. uh, you know um, donated food even and have some people bake. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't hurt to have a couple extra bucks, you know, a couple mm -hmm. extra hundred. One challenge this weekend is that Saturday morning is the PSAT right. testing, oh. mm. so that mm -hmm. could be part of what Wait. the problem is. You mean not this Saturday, the one after Next, yeah. the eighteenth, the eighteenth, PSATs. PSAT. On a Saturday? Oh. In Amherst. Yeah. So they usually do it during the week in there. Oh. I, can't, oh. I can't recruit <coughs> my daughter's friends. <laughs> mm. uh, did you contact Chanterelle to go? Did I send you there? Chanterelle, the food truck. Yeah. I have held off on contacting any of them because we were still working on other we were possibilities. We still hoping that we could get a... Yeah. So, so I can... We want to get four first of them. Uh -huh. Okay. I know four. Um, if I have time, I'll get in touch with them and see if by chance they're free next week. Do you want me to contact Chanterelle to go? Yeah, sure. Okay. If you would, that'd be great. Sure. Yeah. Was he so at the Florence Arts thing? David, I'll wait to hear. Shall I wait to hear from you then on that? Because I don't want to get dueling food. I'll uh, contact them today. So <laughs> we'll see if we can back from them. A food event. That would be, be cool. Dueling food. Well, yeah. yeah. All right. We should go yeah. to the next. Yes. Okay. Um, I thought that some of that bled into other yes. events, so I would. Yes. Um, but the Recycle Reuse Rally on November 15th. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Mm -hmm. um, Bikes Not Bombs hasn't confirmed, but they would like to be out here for that. Um, they have another uh, event in Arlington the same day, but 
the guy I spoke to or emailed with said he thinks he can still be out here, but that hasn't been confirmed. Um, we have a press release that will hopefully be ready before, uh, well, we're waiting until after the 18th anyway uh, to do the advertising. Um, and the only question I have at this point is, um, last time we did this, there were a number of things that were actually very nice, but no one took them because they showed up at the end or no one oh. wanted them, and whether we should ask the Salvation Army to come and take some of that stuff at the end rather than just recycle it all. I mean, there were some kids' toys and equipment that was really nice. Mm. But we had nowhere to put it. I think you Can took you some just yourself. The, you just put it in your truck noise? and took it home. We Through. usually have Salvation Army there. Well, we did it last time because we felt like there was an issue with oh, right. pride margin. That, yeah. So I, I'm just asking if that makes sense to have them come. Or Probably. they're the only ones who will come. No one else comes. So right. we should do that. Would, Debbie was just starting. Is his, if it's that good, would we not want to take it out to our center and hold it for the toy thing? Um, it's a possibility. It's I probably a combination of both, Peter. We could hold on to really good things and send the rest of the stuff to them. Yeah. So transportation is an issue just because some of that stuff mm -hmm. is trans getting stuff yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I took I some can, in a truck, but I can bring a van. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, yeah. But we should solve Salvation Army, or I, I would. Yeah. And Diana, Mac, do you think there's room over there potentially by November 15th that we could store some stuff? Yeah. Maybe on top of the office. We should have the top of the office. Because <laughs> uh, we're talking bulky, rigid plastic. So right. Really yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> like no, computer shutting down. Oh. <laughs> now we're guess, I guess we're done. <laughs> um, no, so I think we're in good shape. For, okay. Uh, and then now for the want a break and have some fun. Some for the, the November <laughs> sale, we, we um, also can potentially have a flyer for the schools, John, and just a heads up in advance. If oh. you know somebody that can help translate that, if we can get it to Barbara already translated, it'll, you know, it'll be that much faster. So it would be emphasizing the swap portion right. of the bulky rigid plastic and the paper shredding. So the simpler the better in order to translate mm -hmm. it, get it on one page or both sides. Well, like a quarter sheet, yeah. you know, kind of yeah. thing. We can, we can work on that. Okay. Okay, can we move to the next? The, uh, yeah, the um, well, Susan has now delivered the papers I requested that uh, talk about how we've done it in the past, so I'm going to begin to study those. Um, we have a little issue with the space. Has that been resolved? Oh. Um, with the winter market? No, I haven't spoken to Tim personally, but Debbie and I are going to be going over there today, mm -hmm. and I can talk to him about it. It was, I was concerned at the time I reserved, I said, so this is not going to be a conflict mm -hmm. with the winter farmer's market, and um, it's a conflict with the winter farmer's market. So I think I think Tim thought that it, they could just be out in front like they have done in the past when, this, when the space was occupied. I don't think it's the end of the world for them. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly not their preference. Out in front meaning in the lobby? In the lobby. That's, uh -huh. where, they, that's where they've been before and that's yeah. where their concerns have been that they can't really do music and stuff. But they really could. I mean, they could have music out in front of that uh, where the... The lobby in the gym? They, no, the lobby. No, the lobby in the oh, in the school. In the school. Oh, yeah, yeah, the school's right. lobby uh, right there, right now. That there, there's an Ar Adirondack chair made out of skis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, right there could be the music. I mean, it's cramped, but it's, um, you know, clearly the the fellow who was in touch doesn't understand the scale of our event. Right. Mm -hmm. He thought that we might be able to fit into the restaurant, and it's just not, mm -hmm. not not right. enough. Yeah. I mean, we could certainly do with a little less than this we, we could give them some of the space potentially in the cafeteria but but we need the majority the bulk yeah. of the cafeteria yeah we do is yeah. the we gym a possibility yes. for them us anybody i can talk to tim about it i can talk to tim about it the problem with the gym is is uh, shoes and it gets oh, yeah. used in the fall, uh, in winter, because of basketball. So mm -hmm. they have basketball yeah. practice, and, and they don't, you know, I mean, it's, it's one thing in the fall for people to be traipsing in there, but once there's salt on the roads and grit yeah. and sand, mm -hmm. right. uh, for people to be traipsing in there is not a good thing. I think also that, I mean, the gym doesn't have quite as good light, as Peter pointed out, and mm -hmm. or as good traffic flow with the, the, two, the, the two entrances mm -hmm. that we've got there. We can just, you know, really yeah. manage very large 
traffic uh, flow pretty easily. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think the opportunity mm -hmm. for having a lot of people come is to be good yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. I mean, we've already we've already been bumped a couple times now, yeah. <laughs> and um, we yeah. So the as you know, last year we moved it to the senior center. The senior center was not available on the same day as the ski swap this year, so we bumped ours to the next weekend to have it at Smith Boak. And um, I, I just don't want to. We've already gotten the word out and said that yeah. they're all going to be at Smith Boak. It just seems like right. We started the publicity is what where the issue is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I will talk with Tim and see what his suggestion is. He's, I mean, he's the one that's really very yeah. persuaded, right, that it's okay rather than the food, the person running the, the food show. Market? Yeah. Well, Tim, Tim is, I just, Tim will know what alternatives there could be. Last time I went, they were in the hallway. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's it's the end of the world. Yeah. It's not ideal yeah. for them, but it's, mm -hmm. it's they still mm -hmm. can have a, a pretty successful day. Yeah. Or we could be in the hallway with some of it. Mm -hmm. uh, have, you, have you been to the toy exchanges? Yeah. You've mm -hmm. seen the volume that we oh, do? Yeah. yeah. No, I meant yeah. just part of it, and then they would yeah. have part of the gym, and then we would have the rest of the gym. Mm -hmm. it, okay. <laughs> I, I can see them. I mean, I can see them. I appreciate your. Yeah. I can yeah. see cordoning off part of the yeah. part of the cafeteria and letting them have part of the cafeteria, right. Right. but. Um, yeah, we could certainly, we could mm -hmm. probably swing that. I, I, I don't know where you'd give them room in the cafeteria. No, we you could give them the just whole thing the last night. Mm -hmm. Well, the, if the cafeteria is shaped like this, and this is the parking lot here, yeah. um, and the doors to the hallway are here, mm -hmm. um, we could, I mean, we had a fairly small space last year. We could conceivably give them enough room here so that they could have vendors here. And then we could still have our two doors and the stage, but we'd they'd have to, we'd have to have some kind of barriers so that they could have some of their vendors. They could then have oh. stuff out in the hallway, oh. and huh. people could go in here, and that gives them a little bit more room. It doesn't solve their problem of having a central right. place where everyone can hear the music, but right. um, it gives them a little bit more room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having gone to auctions that happen there, where mm -hmm. we use the space for displaying all the merchandise. Mm -hmm. um, to have two events that are mm -hmm. separate in there, mm -hmm. I think, would be chaotic. They mm -hmm. don't use the entire length of the hall, and I don't think there's any problem with having an interchange between the two doors that you're just erasing, either mm -hmm. not east and west of that, mm -hmm. open so that there can be interchange and flow of folks who might. As long as it's after the time when we open the public, we could certainly have an interchange. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. otherwise, the bathroom door is the only other mm -hmm. consideration. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, figuring that with Tim. Right. Um, this, their hours are probably pretty close to what our hours are, yeah. too, mm -hmm. in the morning. Because yeah, with right. our event, mm -hmm. it's like halfway through the morning, a lot of the stuff is gone, mm -hmm. you know. In a way, if we could stagger mm -hmm. it and have them start later, you know, we could, we could probably yeah, be mm -hmm. turn yeah, over yeah. part of the space to them more easily because... Um, like I say, I mean, there's people have been there. Seen there's a tremendous inflow of people for the first hour, hour and a half, Until and then it drops way off. And then, you know, by 10:30. Space, I think, and based on the last event, mm -hmm. need this space. Oh yeah, because we, we had rolling tables here to bring out at the last minute to mm -hmm. make one more row. Mm -hmm. so. I think the market starts earlier, frankly. Yeah, it starts seven yeah. or something. Like yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I feel like we've been pretty accommodating already with giving other pe people dates and spaces, and I, I, I'd like to stick with this. Mm -hmm. Are uh, they in every Saturday event? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean to, yeah. I think they can give up one Saturday. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Is there anything else you need from the group? No. I, I, next time we meet, I'll have more, I'm sure. Okay. But I'm just beginning to really get organized on it. Okay. New business. I knew we had something that I couldn't remember. Yeah. Well, we have, um, first of all, I wanted to let you guys know that there's um, Governor Brown signed California's plastic bag, mm -hmm. bag ban into law mm -hmm. on September 30th. 
that's a really big thing, and I'm sure that Paul and Jesse uh, are are uh, watching that, and um, I hope that they're leveraging that mm -hmm. for this community. But I wanted you guys to know about that. There's also on in the paper on October 2nd, for those of you who were not aware, the mayor has a plan to kind of reorganize a little bit of the... Uh, well, it's, it, I mean, some of it is, some of it is kind of um, rhetoric because they're changing names of organizations, but he's proposed to have the, the the Board of Public Works reports essentially to the City Council. And that's going, that would be a, a pretty major shift because the Board of Public Works has decision-making authority now and they would not, they would be more advisory and then it would have to be approved through the Council. So John and um, Mac and Peter and others had thought, well, how is that gonna affect us? So we don't know. Um, I, I, um, Ned is, is still, you know, uh, it's still rather new for the DPW and the Board of Public Works, so um, they're they're all kind of figuring out what would happen and the pros and cons and stuff like that. But I wanted you guys to know about it. I have a copy of the article if you're interested in seeing it. And then we wanted to talk a little bit about succession planning. Right. So this is this your third meeting or second? Uh, I think it's the second. Do you okay. I, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's the second. Yeah. Okay. And so, John, um, you said that you would take notes. Are you okay to be the leader again? If I can get my computer to uncrash, okay. yeah, I'd be happy oh. to. <laughs> okay. And David, you had said that you'd be happy cycling through again. Would you be Always. willing to take, mm -hmm. take sure. minutes then at, when John is leading? Excellent. Starting two meetings from now. Yes. I'll do a no, starting the meeting after this next one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, starting the second. Yes. Okay. Oh. Is anybody else interested in that, those roles? I uh, occasionally have to work Thursdays. So oh, okay. It's tough to be okay. consistent. Um, just to open I can it. certainly volunteer to take notes when I'm here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. yes. Well, well, so, um, you know, but Roger's saying that he occasionally has to meet Thursdays. I know that Roe had a conflict today. We don't have to meet on Thursdays especially once I'm done in Amherst or much more free in Amherst. Um, so we could meet, you know, we could change it to Tuesdays. Um, a after, a, in the next month or so, we can have just about any day you want. So it's something to think about. Maybe next mm -hmm. meeting we can talk about changing it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're at reviewing to-dos, and do we need to go over that, or do people know? I need to contact Rob about the, the recenter display board. Mm -hmm. Anybody else remember what they need to do? People are going to be posting display board? for the recenter at the arts event. The artist. Oh, the trifold. People are going to oh, post it. this mm -hmm. and make sure that it's out there, mm -hmm. remind people, um, eat the bushes that way. Roger's yep. getting a translation on that other yep. flyer. Yep. Um, I'll repost the Craigslist for the community tag sale. Hopefully in Spanish will be a lot of these. Mm. <laughs> Anything I'll, else? I'll be restocking the with this, uh, <coughs> the galleries because I only had yeah. card stock last time, so yeah. and pinch pottery had missed uh, sticks and stuff. Do you want stock. these so people can pick up individual? I I have yeah. 200 yeah. pre printed already, oh, you have so I've got okay. about 150 left of, okay. the, of both. Okay. Um, we also have been, uh, between Sue Muldoon and myself, we've been doing a lot on Facebook. We've been plastering this stuff all over Facebook. I've been doing a lot of tag sale stuff on Facebook. Um, so, and, I, and I'm gonna post another one today uh, telling people to come to the tag sale. So, um, I've also boosted um, a couple things to, to um, uh, essentially paid Facebook 10 bucks to, Make sure it gets out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, sort of so is there a tagline to your friends, 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 and tell your neighbor well, friends? That we can make that in today's. Yeah. I was just thinking uh, if we're going to have an information table at the arts event uh, and about the uh, recenter, 
if we could come up with a preliminary list of things that we're sure that we'll yeah. accept, mm -hmm. we could put that post, put that out, and just say to people, even though we're not open yet, you can start saving these things instead of throwing them away. Mm -hmm. and, I think uh, in that draft that we gave to the Board of Public Works, we had a list yeah. that I think mm -hmm. is a pretty conservative mm -hmm. list. So yeah. I think we can. So we put that but I think if we if we combine that with that statement that Mac had made or somebody, if if you would give it to your best friend, right. we'll take it. You know, wow. and <laughs> if it's not something that you would give to your best friend, then we probably don't want it. We might not want it. <laughs> Reconsider. Yeah. Reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So we could do that Tuesday. We could just double check our list on Tuesday. Yep. I might email that out because I might need to get it to yeah. Rob before Tuesday. Okay. But yeah. I'll, I'll, I haven't heard back from him, so yeah. we'll see. Okay. And David, you were going to email out the stuff from Paul Spector. Yes. That's the only other commitment that I remember. Um, so the next meeting date. Uh, mm -hmm. Sue or Susan or Senator Al. Okay. Uh, I don't November remember. 13th. November 13th is when okay. we have this committee room reserved next. All right. Two days before the end. Okay. Motion to adjourn then. So moved. Right on time. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Push it. Really good. good.